You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and it's time for a Ninja Disc Launcher, The Secret Art of Flying Foam. I didn't know there was a secret art. Well, I'm going to find out. Pretty neat little die cut. Makes it look like, you know, like a saw blade coming at you. Four foam discs. So you get this one up here plus these three. Pretty cool colors. Stealth size launcher. Yeah, it looks like you can put it in your backpack, uh, back pocket. Fast action load and launch. And then ages six plus. Let's flip it over. Certified fresh hog wild. Uh, oh, sorry about that. Load soft foam disc in the cradle. Retractable sling arms. Release to eject at target. Pull back at the no, weight. Retractable sling arm, pull back concealed finger grip, release to eject at target. There's the steps. And look at him, he's all set to launch, the little ninja guy. So I need to open this, which I'm just going to do right here, right now. But I need to get something, something to open with. I'm going to use the scissors. And... I am just going to see if I can just easily, there we go, nice and easy. Get in here without totally destroying the packaging. I like to always keep that as good as possible. Okay, so I don't rip it open all the way. And once you bring it back and tape it all down, it looks like it's never been opened. All right, so let's check it out. I was admiring these simulated Allen wrench screws here. I'm not sure if they're real or not. Let's see. This pulls back. Okay. So that's how you launch. So it doesn't lock like a trigger. I don't see these things doing anything except being these cool looking retractable sling arms. Okay. So let's just set one of these in. So it's almost, you see this little pin right here? That's what's launching, and yeah, and the way it's going to shoot out, the way it looks the way this is designed, it's going to push out, it's offset slightly to the right, so it's going to do that. So that's what's causing it. If it was set straight and just shot out, you would get shoop, and no real spin. So now, the way it's designed, you see it almost retracted in, look at that. Maybe it's a little air pressure brought it in because it's foam. And when you shoot, I know you're waiting for me to shoot, but I'm observing. I see all these little details, and I want to understand what this thing is doing. Here we go. I will just give it a little pull and a little release. And that shot pretty good. I barely pulled it. So now let me do it even lighter just so we can maybe see the action somehow. Here we go. Super light. All right, let me do another one. Let me just check all the little foam discs out, too. All right. So let me just pull back. Ooh, yeah. Okay, see, that's what I was trying to avoid. I have to get my target system out. And it works good. So now I have to find that one on the floor. And when I come back, I'll have my targeting system out, and then we'll just take a look at these four discs and what they look like, and then I'll start shooting. All right, so I collected the one missing disc that was on the floor, and I just wanted to show you, you know, how thick they were. And if I can press them, so they are spongy, they're not super hard. And there is the four colors and designs. And then I thought, well, you know what? I can't shoot just regular old plastic bottles and cans. Why not bring in some serious foes, huh? Someone that I can really battle with. Now, these are part of some of the stuff. Remember how we say, well, we've got this and we've got that, we've got bins. Well... I had a bag of a complete little army set here. Well, military, not army. More like Roman soldiers and their horses. And then I have this other set of figures, which is just in this little black thing where I got some of the Star Wars stuff. And, you know, it's just got other little pieces and characters that I can use when I need it and weapons and helmets and stuff. There's little Star Wars cards in there. We got all kinds of little bins like this around of stuff. But I thought, why not mix it up and, you know, create some good battle partners. Who would you want to battle the least? So let me see first 
if I can just hit any of these guys here. I gotta check the aiming system, right? That's key. Can I aim with it? So if I tell you what I'm aiming at and I miss it, then you know I need to make some adjustments. So I'm going to go for my white stormtrooper here. So I'm on the left. I'm aiming right at him. Okay. Kind of hit my hand. So let me rethink how I'm going to hold that. And go down. Okay, above him. So I'm going to aim a little lower. Okay, hit him in the head. So I have to aim down. So I was kind of aiming... For this to sh shoot up that way, I aim down just slightly. Okay, so let me try the next guy to him. Aiming down, here we go. Ooh, it was close. It was right above his head. Again, so aim down a little bit more. Can't aim down too much because it'll fall out of its little thing. Right next to him, so it would have hit him. It's the right angle. Got him. All right, so these foam discs are enough to knock off a figure like that with the plastic stand. All right, I got to hit this guy in the middle. He's been staring me down this whole time. He's making me nervous. Here we go. Yeah, I'll just kind of see if you can so that my angle down. Ooh, angle too far down. Try it again. Here we go. Got him. So let's try some of the tingy sounds. And by the way, I've been looking for stuff to add to the left side. Nothing there. And what I do is I go on eBay. And what I search is broken, old, target toys, damaged toys. You can even search something like junk drawer. And people just put up everything cool from a junk. Someone's junk drawer could have 50 items in it. And uh, you can find all kinds of cool stuff in those. I do strange searches like that. All right, here we go. I'm to the right here. I'm aiming at the yellow one. I hit to the left of it. Here we go. To the left of it again. All right. Mm. The targets are my nemesis, are they? Or you can search used toy lot. And sometimes people put 10, 12 items in it. They want to get rid of them all at one time. Okay, I hit it, but it didn't spin. So it's going to be hard because i got to hit right on the flap, top or bottom. Ooh, I keep hitting it, but kind of in the middle so it doesn't spin. Okay, I will keep trying. I feel like I haven't accomplished till i actually done it. Here we go. How about I just try to hit anything over there? Will it fly 30 feet? Easily. Oh, I'm just moving just to the left. Ooh, I like that tinny sound. Ooh, I hit the red one. All right, let me reset my camera and see if I can hit some of those birds and other spinny things. All right, so here we are. And I would say the camera is just under over five feet high to give you an idea. Well, I'm way down here. The table is way down here. You can see the figures back there. And my scissors off to the side on the left. So here we go. I will try to hit something. I don't know what I'm going to hit. I don't think I'm going to try to aim much, but I'll go for the birds in the top row. Ooh, I hit them. Now I hit them kind of square. Not too much on the bottom where they flip. There you go. And then let's try over here. Something over here. I just want to hit something. Okay. And last but not least, if I could hit that little ding bell, then I know I've completed my mission. Here we go. Ooh, just above it. And at this point, I have to grab them, so i got to find the other ones. Missed it. Be right back. All right, here we go. Ooh, just to the left of it. Just underneath it. Ooh, there you go. So that's it. Let me bring us down to earth here now, back to where we were. Hit all new targets today and showed you this ninja disc launch. I just wanted to bring that in there from Hogwild. And if you want to see more cool shooting toys, we have a whole series on different kinds of shooting toys, from rubber band guns to squirt guns to ninja disc launchers now. And thanks for watching. Again, look in that description for the playlist, or as always, you can search Lucky Penny Shop or our channel.
Thanks for watching. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up. Thanks for watching.